What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We have a trace, okay? We have a critter we are after. Well, I was out here the other day. I was riding on the trap shackle wheels. I looked over in my uncle's yard, and I said no other than Jerry the Groundhog. I ran home as quick as I could, man, Adam. We got the 17 coming down here. We's going, you know, take him out, because before he does any damage. Me and Adam right here, we's about to, we just going to check a trail camera. Groundhog right in front of our path. So, we turned around, we came home. Got the 17. I wouldn't be disappointed if I end up eating a groundhog today. That'd kind of make my day. He's got his airsoft gun. I got my air 17. If, if the groundhog is still there, he's going to have a bad day. But anyways, guys, we're going to head on down there. He's probably about two minutes away. My heart's starting to beat fast. If he's there, we're going to get him. If he's not there, we probably can't get him. But we'll be hunting for him pretty soon. We're going to eat the groundhog sometime. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Too late. He got away. But anyways, then I went and told my uncle, I was like, dude, Jerry the Groundhog is running right through your yard. He's like, yeah, dude, there's two of them. There's one out there at one barn, and there's one out here at this barn. So I tell you what, guys, that's our mission. We gotta get a Groundhog, and then we're gonna eat him, of course. Now, as I look around the barn, the first thing I notice is this. Big holes, man. Big holes. I believe that would probably be a groundhog, either that or some kind of small dinosaur, but I'm betting on a groundhog. Also, guys, one thing I'm not told you, as soon as I pulled up on the mule right here, I saw a groundhog right here, and he ran straight in there. So, he, he's he's close, okay? He's close. He's probably watching us right now. If I had my M9, I would just, you know, bop, 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 and hope I hit him, and I probably would, because, you know, I'm a sniper, man. But anyways... As I was talking over there, I saw this thing move, so that means he's somewhere in there. I, I don't know. Or... Are groundhogs aggressive? I mean, do they bite people? I don't know. I'm not really a groundhog expert. Do we see anything in there? No? Okay, let's keep looking. I think our first plan of action we're probably going to have to do. Yeah, he may have a hole in right back in there. He he looks like he's been wearing this out, man, where he's been walking up through here. We'll take care of him. No problem. No problem at all. I got a trail camera, guys. We're going to set the trail camera overnight. Maybe he'll come back at the end of the day or sometime. Come in here. Get the trail camera along with the random garbage bag. Probably going to take that off here in a few seconds. Bro, he's close. I just heard him. Bro, he's real close. I just heard him. Hop, dog. I tell you what, guys. If I ain't armed at all times, I'm in trouble here. I will never be back to this location without a pistol. I'm liable to get eat up. I may not make it out here live. But anyways, guys, right now what we need to do, we need to find some kind of location to where we can set up the trail camera watching these two holes and this little corridor. If that's what, if a corridor, I don't even know what a corridor is, but it sounds like the right word to use, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to see if we can't get this five-gallon bucket or something similar to, you know, just wrap the camera around. It's got a little piece of wood on here, so it should angle down that way. Should give us a perfect angle. This is what the trail camera should see. See, I mean, you can you can see down in the corridor, whatever it's called. I don't know. That should do pretty good, guys. We're going to set up the camera. Then we'll, you know, we'll go do something else that's cool or something like that. It's been a while since I've been out here trapping. Well, not really. It's like the third video in a row of me trapping, actually. But anyways, it's been a while for me trapping. We're going to make these guys pay for what they've done. They, they dug a hole through the side of the barn. That is unacceptable. I don't know some of y'all, the true great gangsters that's been here like OGs a long time. Y'all, y'all remember what happened to the last unauthorized groundhog? Yeah. He died. Now, do we want videos or pictures? I think we go for videos because I don't know much about groundhogs. And videos on the trail camera is the perfect way to learn about an animal you don't know of. I'm telling you, man, I can hear this groundhog back behind me. I can hear him. It is, it is terrifying. Got a hundred year old strap here. Now it's literally just a matter of time. If I'm gonna be real honest, I'd say it's a matter of about 20 minutes before the groundhog comes out of there and goes into his hole. We could probably just sit here with a gun for about a, I don't know, a little while and just shoot him whenever he comes out. But I do want surveillance first. It's always good to know exactly who you're after before you go after him. Whether that be a coon, possum, red fox, Black fox, gray fox, white fox, arctic fox. Yeah, I think that's about it. Blue fox, purple fox, fox fox. Meanwhile, we'll let the trail camera sit here. We'll let it be working. And I think we're going to get, I think we're, uh, yeah. I don't know, guys. We're going to take care of this groundhog really soon, though. I can promise that. New at 11, a New Hampshire man talking about his terrifying run-in with an angry groundhog. 
Unfortunately. Yes, we did say groundhog. And that's the groundhog. It's pretty creepy. Not usually considered <laughs> the scariest animal out there, but you see those teeth on that guy? New Center Fire's Mary Sutton is on the unusual attack tonight. Imagine finding this at your front door. It happened to Gary McGrath and his family. It started when their resident groundhog showed up this morning in the backyard. Looked out of the corner of my eye and I saw this groundhog coming right at me. And I thought it was kind of amusing, and he didn't stop. In fact, Hampton Hell, as the McGraths call him, went for Gary's leg. I pushed him away with my foot, and uh, he still turned around and came back, and I pushed him away again. He was after me. Gary quickly realized that Hell had turned to the dark side, so Gary made his getaway and darted into the garage side door. Looked out the window, and he went right around the edge of the garage and came right in the, the front. I, so he liked me, and I had to get out of there quick. Then Gary made for the house, but so did Hell, and he meant business. I beat him into the house, and then he started clawing at the, at the window and gnawing at the siding, and I knew something was seriously wrong. That's when the McGraths decided to call animal control, but when the officer arrived, the groundhog charged him as well, chasing him right back into his own pickup. We were trapped for a while. But you, were, you, were, you were trapped inside. Yeah, I'm trying to live this down. Is it okay? <laughs> all after a side, the McGraths just want to warn their neighbors and all homeowners to be cautious. You never know when a friendly critter could wind up sick and dangerous. Animal control had to put the groundhog down. He's now being tested for rabies. In Hampton, New Hampshire, I'm Mary Salada, WCVB News Center 5. Am I the only person who heard what they just said? A large legion of groundhogs are establishing militias around the grove and they're planning to overthrow the government. Why is no one taking this serious? Oh my gosh. We gotta get ready for this, guys. This is not a joke. This is not even cool. Get ready while you can, guys. Time's running out. Sorry, I uh, didn't have ear or eye protection on, but uh, when duty calls, or in this case, when groundhogs charge, you really don't have a choice. Hello. I got bad news, dude. What's up? So you know how you know you know groundhogs, right? Like the little fur bear-looking things that look scary and have big teeth, like a beaver, but they're on land. Yeah. I just had one try to bite my leg off. No. Well, no, he didn't, but I think he might. This is serious, dude. We got to take action. We need Tanner out. We need Tanner out? Yeah, we got to take him out, dude. They're, have you heard on the news? No, what is it? They're a, 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 a large legion of groundhogs around the globe are creating militias and plan to overthrow the government. We got to blow them up. That's what I was thinking, dude. This is serious. Okay, I'm getting the 10-gauge ready now. This thing is the hardest gun I've ever worked on to put back together. So the groundhogs might have a good start there for a little bit. Well, I just uh, I'm a, I just shot my Beretta out here a minute, and I hit a solid 6 out of 15 shots. So, you know, we're going to put a hurting on them. They got, a, they got a decent chance of getting hit whenever they charge. But besides that, All I think right. we can take them if we just get like... I don't know, steel toe boots. Probably be a good start. And I work at a shoe store. That's exactly right. Okay, guys, we're back. We're about to check the truck camera. Now, I actually moved the bucket from over there to over here. That way, we could get a little bit more area, a little bit more height, so we could see a little bit more. But anyways, let's come on in here and see what we can check. Hopefully, we got some pretty good footage of this guy. There he is, son. If that ain't him right there. Just a moseying around here. How good can y'all see him? Can y'all see him pretty good? He's just like standing there chilling, man. Let's keep looking. There he is again. Same spot. Same spot. Same spot. Same spot. Let's see what he's doing now. Still just barely moving around. Yeah. We'll take care of him pretty soon. Then there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. And then that's me today, I believe. Ooh. Here's another picture of him. Maybe of him moving. He's just standing still. Just a barely moving. You th do you think he noticed the trail camera? Because, I mean, he's staring right at it. But do you think he actually noticed it? Here he is again. Now he's out in here. I don't know what in the world he's doing. Well, well, well. If the groundhog isn't just there all the time. Let me go back here. I didn't even check the times. I want to see what time of day he's most active. That way, whenever we plan out to go get him and eat him, I'll know exactly what time to go get him. All right, so right here. Here's the time. Mm. I think it says 6.30. No. Actually, guys, I don't know how to read this clock. It says 22.52.0. 
I don't really know if that's military time or groundhog time or whatever it is. Maybe groundhog day made fall longer this year. I don't know. I mean, he's not really doing much. He's not killing chickens, but he did kind of drill two giant holes in the side of the barn and whatever other things groundhogs do i think they dig holes or something i don't know but i can tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna set up sniper mode here one day this week and we're gonna take care of it also while i'm up here looking at the pool pond here's another thing that the coon actually did that i didn't even notice he climbed all over the pool pond are you kidding me this stinking coon Climbed all over the pool pond, and, well, he probably went swimming. I, how am I supposed to know if he did or not? He got right up on here, though. I wouldn't be surprised if he took him in a little dip. But anyways, guys, it's time for the verse of the week. This week's verse of the week isn't really a verse, but it is an overall good moral, I guess you could say. But I heard a guy say lately, it's okay to, you know, ask God to remove something. But you have a problem, and you ask God, can you please, like, take this out? It's okay to do that. But if God doesn't take it out, then you need to leave it alone because if you ask him to take it out and he doesn't, there's a really good chance God's actually using that situation for you to benefit. Like, he has a plan for that situation. And if he just took it out like you asked, then his ultimate plan may never be fulfilled. So the next time you ask God to remove something from your life, remove you from a situation, something like that, and he doesn't, leave it and watch what happens from it because something big will probably happen. But anyways, guys, here's actually the USA shirt. I don't know if I've already told you this. I don't know if I've plugged the merch at all, but it is kentonalgray1.com slash shop. We're first link in the description. Also, I don't know if I told you this, but we have KG trail cameras. They're not out yet. That's actually the prototype that we got the footage off of. I probably said a little bit too much right there, but that's at the end of the video. And if you guys watch this far, you deserve it. Platinum Grey Gangsters. But yeah, this is the USA shirt. Honestly, guys, it's probably one of my favorites. But anyways, I'm going to let you go. Remember, always have your hard hats here beyond this point. That's about it. Thanks for watching our new video, Kindle Grey. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, kindlegray1.com slash shop.